Hey everybody, this is Chris, and here's another video of my life before joining the military. Let's see, I was born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee, and you know what? Memphis is not bad at all. Contrary to what everybody say on the news and stuff, it is not very bad. But, you know, I had my struggles growing up. I really did not like school at all, and I really didn't know because I did not know what life was going to take me because... My GPA was not good enough to go to college. I, I just could not focus in school. And I don't know why I linked to join in the military. I know I always wanted to be a police officer. I don't, but I don't know where. And I noticed when I went, I went out, one day I went up to the police officer and I asked him, how old you got to be? And he said you had to be 21. Well, when I graduated, I was 17 years old. So that wasn't going to work out at the time. Then I remember this Navy officer happened to just walk in. And I was like, he, he started talking. I was like, there'd be somebody interesting. But I was never interested in Navy and swimming. I don't like walking. So I remember I just happened to, you know, let me go check out the Army. And I decided to, after, when I decided to go to a crew station in 12th grade, and I just, and I just started talking to the recruiter. And I remember, and then the stuff he said, I was like, it really hit me. I was like, I really actually could do this stuff because this is something I really want to do. So after 12th grade, I actually had to go to summer school to complete everything, but I still was 17 years old. So I went to the recruit, back to the recruiter, and I signed up to be a uh, going army. And let's see here. After I signed up, he asked me what job did I want, and I, I mean now you know I never really thought of I was like no nah, jobs. I thought you know the whole army, everybody you know just go in and you shoot people. Well, no, it's not like that. You actually have to pick a job. So I remember we just, I sit down. He was like, well, we got this thing called 92 Golf. I was like, what's that? He said, cook. I was like, oh, you know, be military cook. I can do that. And, and I remember I signed my, I got everything done. It was August of 2011. That's when I got done with my MEPS and I did my first swearing. You know, you do one swearing and then you, you go into you wait, then, you know, when you finally leave, you're going to do your second swearing in before you leave. And I did a swearing in. I remember from August, from August all the way into March of 2012, that's when I finally left. It was just anxiety. I was like, oh, Lord, we're going to leave. And I was like, you know, but it really went by really fast. But, but with the real thing happened, my recruiter never called me again after August. I did not finally hear to my recruiter. So he came to my house a week before I was supposed to leave, take me to the bank to fill out my direct deposit form. And that's when it really kind of hit me that I was leaving. So for everybody thinking about the military, you don't know, it has worked out really great for me. I've, when I joined, I was single. Now I'm married and got a baby. Well, one year old. She's kind of bad as hell. And it, I, I don't pay for medical pay. Well, it don't seem like I do, but it do. And it pays for my apartment and everything, really, and I get paid nicely. So, and I remember the day I left, the day before basic training, I was at the, the day before, I, no, the day when I left to go to, uh, to ship out, I was at the, just in the, at the recruiting station. My mom was like, my brother was there. They wished me bye. She started crying and everything. And I went to the hotel to do MIPS again. Well, you're not really MIPS, but you go to the same place, the hotel you did MIPS in. And I stayed there another night. The next morning, my mom, but my mom last time seen me was the night before, that night. The next morning, she couldn't, see, she didn't see me. Did she? No, she did not see me at all. So we went from the hotel, and I went straight to the airport. We went from Memphis to Atlanta, from Atlanta to North Carolina, from North Carolina to South Carolina. I, I, I don't understand why. But they took all those flights just to do all that. And really, it was kind of really dumb to me, but that's not my business. But, yeah, that's really my story, bringing you up into the Army, bringing you up to where I'm at. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a video talking about my whole red face. It sucked. It sucked. I hated it. It, it was the first week. I really just hate it. I really, I made me actually think about what the hell I got myself into. 
But I'll tell y'all about that in the video. But until then, this is me signing out. Peace. I'll come out with another video soon.